so in this painting, uh, we have a map of the Belt and Road at the top. Uh, again, the two holy mountains of uh, Sinai and Song. This is uh, Guangzhou and uh, uh, Guizhou, uh, the, uh, the boat called Arrow, or the opium boat called Arrow, and uh, the cityscape of Tianjin. The color palette is that of an aurora. An aurora is, of course, the Earth's atmosphere protecting um, uh, us, uh, or rather Earth itself, from uh, the solar rays and um, uh, resulting in these uh, powerfully beautiful um, images of these kind of uh, radiant, almost oil slick like sort of uh, palette. And um, so to me, it's this kind of um, uh, constant metaphors, if you like, between uh, heaven and earth. And of course, mountains themselves as well is the bridge between earth and heaven. Often in mythologies, it becomes the sites of where the deities you know, reside uh, because they bridge between the world of mortality and that of the afterlife. So I've, done, so I've used those sorts of metaphors to sort of, uh, I guess, uh, bring together uh, this and capture this historical sort of uh, or lesser known history of the Opium Wars, particularly in the West. And so here you have also a landscape that is about the uh, harnessing of the landscape for civilization and, um, and then through to sort of the, the fictional sort of real world landscapes that are also mythologically uh, important for narratives of civilizations and culture. And then in the distance, uh, this kind of cosmic um, constellation, which is actually a Belt and Road uh, map, which is the, the New Silk Roads of uh, China which is currently connecting around about 140 nations with 32 international organizations uh, through the premise of mutual trade.